Um, um, so here I mentioned, here's the little thing that pees out a little bit of fuel. So um, here's, here's a clue that something was going on in the engine that wasn't, uh, wasn't happy to see how high that's yeah. sticking up. So you guys were trying to adjust this and just simply couldn't get it to, to dial in. For some reason, inside that engine, something was <laughs> amiss. <laughs> amiss. And I'm going to take the extra air valve off just simply to make it easier to see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'll have that roll off the table. So low speed jet in the back, high speed jet in the front. Um, Screwdriver Doug, small screwdriver, I just want to loosen the jet here. I can bring that box of parts in for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the one you took apart this morning. Yep. But, uh, I know which box of parts. <laughs> um, okay, so with your, um, when you adjust one of these, um, you, you want to set your quadrant lever to lean, okay? And that's going to be at the uh, um, the setting which would raise that up the most and, and lower this one the most. But I'm going to set them about even. And you're going to set it. Um, so there's your factory, there's your factory mark there. Roughly factory mark there. So you're going to set it set it over to lean, and um, you're going to adjust your low speed jet at a medium idle. Okay, so not the slow show idle, but a, a medium idle, a few hundred RPM. And you're going to turn this. If you turn it counterclockwise, you're going to richen it up. Okay, you're lifting the jet out of the tube. If you turn it clockwise, you are leaning it out, okay? So you want to lean it out until when it's, with the setting on the lean, you're going to turn it um, clockwise until it just begins to stumble, okay? So when it just begins to stumble, now you know you're pretty much where it's lean on your quadrant. Um, then you can go over to the middle because you're now you're sort of rough set in. Set it at the middle, and again you're not with this screw loose. Oh, the screw loose! But with this screw loose, um, this is move. The knob is moving, right? But the linkage and levers aren't. So you're independently adjusting. The, the jet without having anything to do with your quadrant lever. So you've got your rough adjustment, now you put it up in the middle and you're gonna move it clockwise and counterclockwise and keep track of where it stumbles clockwise because that's going to be too lean. And then where does it start to stumble or change tone on the rich side, okay? And what you'll find is that there's going to be a, you know, it's gonna be kind of like that. If I get it if using this ball, if I get it here, I'm gonna be, oh boy, that's starting to run lean. If I get it there, it's starting to run too rich and stumbling a little bit. The low speed jet's really easy. You just pick the spot in the middle and you can lock your screwdriver. There's one more adjustment with it, with it locked and that's to put it over on lean and just adjust it a tiny little bit more until it stumbles and then you're coming back just to the point where it's leaned out but it's not leaned out so much it stumbles. And that's probably at lean, it's just a little bit before this mark that you made um, or, or that you have in your head that is too lean because it's stumbling. You lock that. Now, you're going to adjust the high speed jet and you're going to do that out on the road and so the way you do that is find a nice flat section of road set your um, 
um, throttle position over to lean, and then at about 25 miles an hour or so, step hard on the gas. And <coughs> if the car surges and accelerates with it set all the way over on the lean, um, you're not lean enough uh, yet, okay? You're running too rich. So this one, you move the opposite direction. To richen it up, you move it counterclockwise. To lean it out, you move uh, um, clockwise because this teeter-totter, right, is doing the opposite of what this side is. You're translating it like this. So you just keep doing that until when you stomp on the accelerator at about 20, 25 miles an hour, you get a pop or a backfire, okay, with it set in the lean position. Then you come back a fraction, richen it up a fraction, lock it, and put your um, quadrant lever right in the middle. Again, on the running position, and you should be at the spot where now your carburetor is um, giving you both high speed and low speed jet power. It, it really is that simple. Um, and, uh, and again, it's just remembering that when you stomp on it, if you get a little backfire and a stumble leaned out, that's right about where you want to be, a hair richer than that, and you're adjusted in. Yep, easy peasy. Uh,